Senator Durbin. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Uh, Judge Kavanaugh, earlier today, Dr. Christine Ford sat in that same chair, and under oath, she said clearly and unequivocally that she was the victim of sexual assault at your hands. She answered our questions directly, and she didn't flinch at the prospect of submitting herself to an FBI investigation of these charges. We know, and I'm sure she's been advised by our attorneys, that a person lying to the FBI can face criminal prosecution. Okay. We you have clearly and unequivocally denied that you assaulted Dr. Ford. With that statement, you must believe that there is no credible evidence or any credible witness that can prove otherwise. You started off with an impassioned statement at the beginning, and I can imagine, try to imagine, what you have been through or your family's been through, and I'm sure I wouldn't get close to it. Okay. But it was well, an impassioned... No, you wouldn't. I'm sure I wouldn't. It's an impassioned statement. And in the course of it, you said, I welcome any kind of investigation. I quote you. I welcome any kind of investigation. I've got a suggestion for you. Right now, turn to your left in the front row. To Don McGahn, counsel to President Donald Trump. Ask him to suspend this hearing and nomination process until the FBI completes its investigation of the charges made by Dr. Ford and others what? and goes to bring the witnesses forward and provides that information to this hearing. What? I'm sure that the chairman at that point will understand that that is a reasonable request to finally put to rest these charges if they are false or to prove them if they are not. You spent two years in the White House office that approved judicial nominees. You turned to the FBI over and over and over again for their work. Let's bring them in here and now. Turn to Don McGahn and tell him it's time to get this done. An FBI investigation is the only way to answer some of these questions. So, Senator, stop, the, stop the clock. Uh, this committee is, is running this hearing, not the White House. Not Don McGahn, not even you as a nominee. Uh, we're, we are here today because Dr. Ford asked for an opportunity to hear. I know you did too as well. In fact, maybe even before she did. We're here because people wanted to be heard from charges that they all thought were unfair or activities like sexual assault was unfair. So I want to assure Senator Durbin, regardless of what you say to Senator Don McGahn, we're not suspending this hearing. Proceed to answer the question, or whatever, or if the gentleman... I'll, I'll just say this. If you, Judge Kavanaugh, turn to Don McGahn and to this committee and say, for the sake of my reputation, my family name, and to get to the bottom of the truth of this, I am not going to state be an obstacle to an FBI investigation. I would hope that all the members of the committee would join me in saying, we're going to abide by your wish wishes, and we will have that investigation. I, I welcome whatever the committee wants to do, because I'm telling the truth. I want to know what you want to do. I, I'm telling the truth. I want to know what you want to do, Judge. I'm innocent. I'm innocent of this charge. And you're prepared for an FBI investigation? They don't reach conclusions. You reach the conclusion. No, Senator. but they do investigate questions. I'm, I'm and innocent. And you can't have it both ways, Judge. You can't say here at the beginning, I wanted to hear a moment, Look, I welcome thing, any kind of investigation. This thing was sprung on me. This. this thing was sprung at the last minute after being held by staff. You know. Judge, and I called, for, no I called for a hearing to, immediately. If there is no truth to her charges... The FBI investigation will show that. Are you afraid that they might not? Come oh, on, Jay Whip. The FBI does not reach. Con you know, you know this is. You know that's a phony well, question because the FBI doesn't reach conclusions. So they just go. provide the three O twos. Three O twos. So I can explain to people who don't know what that is. What? They just go and do what you're doing. Yeah. Ask questions and then type up a report. They don't reach the bottom this line. Morning, uh, this you, morning, I asked Dr. Ford. I asked her about this incident where she ran into Mark Judge at Safeway. And she said, sure, I remember it, six or eight weeks after this occurrence. Well, someone at the Washington Post went in and took a look at Mr. Judge's book and has been able to, the run that he wrote about his addiction and his uh, alcoholism. And they have narrowed it down what they think was a period of time, six or eight weeks after the event. And he would have been working at the Safeway at that point. So the point I'm getting to is we at least can connect some dots here and get some information. Why would you resist that Here's kind of dots. investigation? Why would you resist that kind of investigation? Sir, I, 
I welcome, I wanted the hearing last week. I'm asking about the FBI investigation. There, the committee figures out how to a ask the questions. I'll do whatever. I've been on the phone multiple times with committee counsel. I'll talk to... Judge Kavanaugh, will you support an FBI investigation do, right now? I, I will do whatever the committee wants to... Personally, do you think that's the best thing for us to do? You want to answer? You know, look, Senator, I, I've, I've, I, I've said I wanted a hearing and I would said I was welcome anything. I'm innocent. This thing was held, held when it could have been presented in the ordinary way. It could have been held and handled confidentially at first which was what Dr. Ford's wishes were, as I understand it, and wouldn't have caused this, like, destroyed my family like this, this effort has. I think an FBI investigation will help all of us on both sides of the issue. Be, uh, Senator Graham asked for the floor, but before he does, it seems to me that if you want to know something, you got the witness right here to to ask him, and secondly, if you want an FBI report, uh, you can ask for it yourself. I've asked for FBI reports in the past, in the 38 years I've been in the Senate. Senator Graham. And are you aware that at 923, on the night of July the 9th, the day you were nominated to the Supreme Court by President Trump, Senator Schumer said, 23 minutes after your nomination. I will oppose Judge Kavanaugh's nomination with everything I have. I have a bipartisan, and I hope a bipartisan majority will do the same. The stakes are simply too high for anything less. Well, if you weren't aware of it, you are now. Did you meet with Senator Dianne Feinstein on August 20th? I did meet with Senator Feinstein. Did you know that her staff had already recommended a lawyer to Dr. Ford? I did not know that. Did you know that her and her staff had this allegations for over 20 days? I did not know that at the time. If you wanted an FBI investigation, you could have come to us. What you want to do is destroy this guy's life, hold this seat open, and hope you win in 2020. You said that, not me. You've got nothing to apologize for. When you see Sotomayor and Kagan, tell them that Lindsey said all oh, because I voted for them. I would never do to them what you've done to this guy. This is the most unethical sham since I've been in politics. And if you really wanted to know the truth, you sure as hell wouldn't have done what you've done to this guy. Are you a gang rapist? No. I cannot imagine what you and your family have gone through. Boy, y'all want power. God, I hope you never get it. I hope the American people can see through this sham that you knew about it and you held it. You had no intention of protecting Dr. Ford. None. She's as much of a victim as you are. God, I hate to say it because these have been my friends. But let me tell you, when it comes to this, you're looking for a fair process? You came to the wrong town at the wrong time, my friend. Do you consider this a job interview? It, it, the advice and consent role is like a job. Do you consider that you've been through a job interview? I've been through a process of advice and consent under the Constitution. Which Would you I, say you've been through hell? I, I've been through uh, hell and then some. This is not a job interview. Yeah. This is hell. This, this, this is going to destroy the ability of good people to come forward because of this crap. Your high school yearbook. You have interacted with professional women all your life, not one accusation. You're supposed to be Bill Cosby when you're a junior and senior in high school. And all of a sudden you got over it. It's been my understanding that if you drug women and rape them for two years in high school, you probably don't stop. Here's my understanding. If you lived a good life, people would recognize it, like the American Bar Association has the gold standard. His integrity is absolutely unquestioned.
He is the very circumspect in his personal conduct, harbors no biases or prejudices. He's entirely ethical, is a really decent person. He is warm, friendly, unassuming. He's the nicest person. The ABA. And one thing I can tell you, you should be proud of. Ashley, you should be proud of this, that you raised a daughter who had the good character to pray for Dr. Ford. To my Republican colleagues, if you vote no, you're legitimizing the most despicable thing I have seen in my time in politics. You want this seat? I hope you never get it. I hope you're on the Supreme Court. That's exactly where you should be. And I hope that the American people will see through this charade. And I wish you well. And I intend to vote for you. And I hope everybody who's fair-minded will. Uh, Senator Whitehouse.